Bible Scriptures for Strength and Healing Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm chapter 73, verse 26. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increased strength. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Psalm chapter 18, verses 1 to 2. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11. Watch ye. Stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men. Be strong. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Psalm chapter 59, verse 16. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinds feet, and he will make me to walk upon my high places. Habakkuk chapter 3, Verse 19. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoice, and with my song will I praise him. Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord and thou art exalted as head above all. 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, 
but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18 For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? Psalm chapter 18, verse 31 For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans chapter 1, verse 20 For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst a favor unto them. Psalm chapter 44, verse 3 Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Mark chapter 9, verse 23 But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. Luke chapter 8, verse 50 He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. Psalm chapter 147, verse 3. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. James chapter 5, verses 14 to 15. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Mark chapter 10, verse 52. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James chapter 5, verse 16. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Turn again, and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 5. And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Luke chapter 10, verse 9. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Matthew chapter 9, verse 12. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, 
and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 to 17. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bowed down, the Lord loveth the righteous. Psalm chapter 146, verse 8. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Psalm chapter 107, verse 20. Thanks for listening. This is Daniel, the creator of Daily Bible Audio. If these Bible verses have been a blessing to you, please subscribe and share the channel with others if you haven't already. God bless you.